This video contains spoilers for the entire series, so if you haven't watched the show, go watch it and then come back. Squid Game creator Huang Dong-hyuk wrote the show in 2009 but was rejected by studios for 10 years. He once had to stop writing the script and sell his $675 laptop due to money struggles. Today, it's the number one in 90 countries and it's set to become the most watched show in Netflix history. Most of us have already been through all nine episodes of Squid Game. There's even a real-life version in development after the series took the world by storm. Now that fans are re-watching the successful Netflix hit, they've realised that the twist ending involving the character of Old Il Nam isn't as shocking as it first seemed, and that there are several hints as to what Season 2 might focus on. Number 1 one of the theories that keep the fans hopeful for a season 2 is actually about the protagonist Song ji Hung and his relationship with the elderly man Oh il -nam. Both ji Hung and il -nam are players of the survival game and are given opposite numbers. il -nam was dedicated number 001, while ji Hung was given 456, which was the very last number. This observation doesn't mean much until you consider the Squid Game theory that ji Young might actually be il -nam's son. In episode 2, by fate, il -nam and ji Young accidentally bump into each other. il -nam said he was in the area visiting a friend, but which friend? Was it ji Young and his mother who lived just down the road? In that same episode, which we later discover is October the 24th, il -nam said his son's birthday was coming soon and ji Young's birthday, which we find out later on in the series through the files, is actually on the 31st of October. il -nam said he would give his son a present this year because he didn't the previous year and just a couple days later, once all the games have finished, ji Young gets given millions of dollars in his bank account. Is this the birthday present that il -nam was referring to? In episode 6, where the pair plays marbles in the makeshift town, il -nam says the area looks similar to the neighbourhood where he used to live, and later on he finds the house that he lived in with his wife and son. ji Hung likewise described the alley next to il -nam's area to resemble the place where he grew up, further indicating a connection between the two. Number 2 Let's take a look on the episode where il -nam dies in the film. One theory that it had to be the marbles game where he exited the game was because the VIPs are coming to watch from the bridge game onwards and he was meant to host them. The next game was also too dangerous. There was no way the frontman or the game organisers could guarantee his safety. And there was also no way he could have faked his own death falling from the glass panels. And to make things worse, his tumour, which we later on discover was actually real, could have easily caused him to forget which glass is safe, even if he did pick number 16 and cross the bridge as the last player. Number 3 In the last episode, il -nam says he makes money by lending money. The players could have been his customers as il -nam has multiple loan businesses. He knows a lot about these people and how they cannot pay back their loan potentially and how much money they owe and where to find them, making them the perfect targets for the game. Number 4 The game is based on the VIPs on betting who will win the game and therefore the prize money. Il Nam gives Ji Hung his jacket with 001 embroidered on it. This could have been his way of placing his bet on Ji Hung to win. Number 5. There are a lot of discussions around Ji Hung's choice of hair colour in the end. One way to look at it is that the red represents blood, because he is tainted by all the contestants' blood, taking on the burden of their deaths on his shoulder, quite literally. And of course, I saved the best to last. Seong Ji Hung. Could he be the next frontman? Squid Game's final episodes serve to close the overarching story in the new Death Game series. Fans learn frontman's identity through the police officer Jun Ho's sleuthing the player's files. In Ho, aka Frontman, is 2015's winner. Meanwhile, in this year's Squid Game, only one of the 456 players survive, winning the final game and gets to take home Squid Game's 45.6 billion won prize. Another hint is the way he received the card, which was similar to Inho, in a black envelope with a pink ribbon. We see Ji Hung making his way to the airport in the final episode to see his daughter in the US. He sees the salesman recruiting a player for Squid Game through a game of Dakji. The same way he was recruited, he manages to snag his card from the potential recruit. 
Although Ilnam is dead, this final scene confirms that not only are the games going to continue, season 2 can go either way. It's more likely based on his character however, that Jiang is ready to do anything to stop the games from happening again. What are your thoughts on Squid Game? Do you have any theories on season 2? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.